Hi everyone, we're here with another patient success story, Gail and her husband Dan. And Dan, why don't you give us a little history with Gail and just tell us a little about the situation and how she's progressing. Well, about four years ago, Gail had trouble moving her right leg okay. one morning afternoon. And so we started looking into it. Um, her local doctor said that she might have the start of what they called Parkinson's. So we started going to neurologists. We went to three neurologists, different neurologists in Wausau. Okay. And then we went to, to one in Marshfield, mm -hmm. which was two different hospital systems. Right. Then we went to the uh, Madison, to the University Hospital in Madison. Right. And the head neurologist come in and says, you have MSA. And for those of you who don't know what MSA is, it's multi-system atrophy. And it, it's serious. And so what did they tell you after they diagnosed well, that? Multiple symptom atrophy is kind of like an accelerated form of Parkinson's. Right. Which really moves fast. So we were there. Um, the, the one in Madison says, didn't do a test, didn't do nothing, just looked at her. Just sat across the desk and basically looked at her. Didn't have her do anything. Right. Said she has MSA. She had all these uh, certificates and right. you know, behind her. Yeah. She said, "Get her a wheelchair and do things right now because she isn't going to be able to do them later." Well, we this was in, not, in November, the end of November, so we had one hell of a Christmas two yeah. years ago. Right. That spring, we made an appointment and went in April down to Mayo Clinic in Rochester. Yep. Where they did the pinnacle of health. Yeah. Five or six tests. Yeah. Went in to see the neurologist. He says she has MSA. Take these pills and see me in a year. Yeah. We followed it, seen him in a year, he says it's getting worse, take these pills and go home, do whatever fun things you want to do. So we had a whole year to wait, go on that. That last, in November, we went to see the another neurologist from Mayo Clinic mm -hmm. in Eau Claire because it was closer and we right. just wanted to see if there was anything. She kept getting worse and worse. She was losing her speech. Yeah. She could, her hands, she couldn't write. Mm -hmm. Her, her uh, due to the inactivity, she was breathing harder, wasn't able to get her wind. We were afraid, more afraid of her falling and, and getting pneumonia, right. which is a uh, way of there than anything. That neurologist didn't do anything, just looked at her, looked at the charts, and says, we'll make you as comfortable as we can till the end. Wow. There, has no, there was no tests of, of blood or what affected what was causing. Yeah. There was not one. Nothing. Yeah. My daughter Janelle was in contact with Dr. Johnson. Josh Will Williams. <laughs> and he said, Yeah, her, his daughter contacted me, yes, not Dan. Not me. <laughs> it's good to know the doctor's name when he's, you're working with, I've but got the we'll card let him slide. <laughs> we'll be working on his brain next. Yes. <laughs> Gail like that. Janelle will be, yeah. was the one that yes. contacted yeah. And we'll talk to Janelle too. Yep. And she said, we got to go see this guy. He's yeah. there. And I says, okay. Yep. And I come down here, and we listened to what he had to say. And he asked me one of the first questions. He said, looked at Gail. And he says, I can't get you 100% better, but could 95% be good enough? And I said, no, but I was trying to keep from jumping <laughs> off the ceiling. And I honestly felt that 
after reviewing everything. I mean, I'm not gonna blow smoke up your backside. I think the people watching my videos, you know that from seeing me and especially Gail. So we started working with her. She had her first round of stem cell on 12-20. Today is the 10th of January. So it hasn't even been a month. Tell us how, what you've seen in her improvement. Now this is MSA. This is a medical doctor telling them, go home, make her comfortable till the end. Meaning she doesn't have a chance, nothing we can do, go home and die, which I hear all the time. Um, she was, we, we came here and one of the first things they did was the, the STENS unit or yep. the electrical. Yep. And she sat down and I had to put her socks on prior to coming here mm -hmm. and I was on my knees and her foot was about half inch off the floor and that's all the more she could get it raised. And she says, after they did the treatment with STENS, she wanted her pant legs, which was pulled up to her knees, right. pulled down. And I says, well, okay, and I went to reach for him, and she popped that <laughs> foot straight out and says, there. And haven't been able to do that Hadn't before. been able to do that. Right. So we pulled them there. That, that was right there and there, I was a believer. Well, so what he's talking about is the Hakamed that we use in our therapies here. And we're also using PEMF. Are we doing laser with her too? No. Oh, no. Not yet. Yeah, we'll get to that. But anyway, go ahead. And then, so seeing this, we, my daughter says, well, we have a miniature one of these at home. Yep. So we went home, but that one wasn't quite what we wanted, so we ordered one. Yeah. And got it, and that goes on her every day. Yep. And we have been seeing some improvement in her movements with her legs. Now, the PEMF unit. Pulsed Electromagnetic Field Therapy. Yep, go ahead. I asked which one of them we could order, and he said, get this one. Well, we went one step better, which was not necessary. We didn't know it at the time, but we yep. felt it would be better. Yep. And we put that on, and he says, put it on the side of her head right here. That's we, broke a speech area, so this is going to help her speak. And did it as it helped her? Well, the first time we put it on, we didn't do it right, but we put it on her. And about five minutes later, she was talking normal. As long as we put this on, she's got about an hour, hour and a half, two hours of normal talk, which you can understand. Yep. Honey, would you like to say something right now? Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. This is why I get up in the morning, folks, to help people like this. This is what motivates me. I catch crap from people because I got a cross on the wall because I got medical doctors telling people like these wonderful people that I'm a scam artist, I'm a charlatan, I'm a con man, I'm a quack. I mean, call me Godzilla, call me something else. I've heard all of this stuff for years. And you just heard it straight from Gail. It is amazing. This is, and so why we're making this video is to chart her progress to show you, to give people hope because so many doctors have told patients, like they've told you, you have no hope, go home and die. Well, we live in Thorpe, Wisconsin. And how long of a drive is it here one way? It's, we, it takes in perfect weather about three hours with one stop. Right. Yeah. And it's for gas or bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it's if the weather's not great, four hours. We come one day and go back the next so she can have two treatments. And what we're doing now in the office is PEMF and Hakamed, the electrical therapy. She's doing PEMF and, and, and electrical therapy at home every day. And now we're going to ramp it up. Right. We're going to go longer. So we start low, low and slow. I just want to share some, you know, we do complete blood work. It's just not stem cell. So we've recommended supplements because we've got issues in our blood work with inflammation, with her liver, with her adrenals, not enough stomach acid. We have triggers that we're working with. We're removing the heavy metals. We're removing the uh, underlying infections. We're removing the chemical toxicities with Gale. 
So it's just not stem cell and send you out the door. It has to be a holistic approach. This is, this is nothing less than miraculous because every MSA patient, they just say, go home, make the patient comfortable, and you're going to die. And that's just criminal. And well, we're going to go on the MSA blackboard, on, or what do you call it, on the internet, yeah. and we're going to say there is hope. There is hope. And we're also going to say this, all the medical doctors that we went to that said she had MSA, none of them did blood work. No. Nope. None of them checked for any cause. They don't even, they, they just did a test and says, well, she's got MSA. The test was to stick her in, see if she sweated, check her balance, check this. The, the, the PEMF units, the, the, the stem cell, I, forget, I forgot all about the diet. Yeah. There's a, it, it's, it's everything. It's, it, you got to start. It's not just one thing, it's everything. It, he told us there was seven points to this program and we had to follow it. Yeah. We're following it. Yeah. It's... It's not uh, something that... It's not easy. It's not easy. No. I didn't, but I didn't say it would be easy. No, you didn't. And we... I, I told Gail I'm not a BSer, and she knows that now, right? <laughs> so we, we're looking at total... So, look, it hasn't even been a month. We're going to keep charting Gail every couple of months, two or three months, to show you her progress, because I know we're going to make even more progress. And we're going to get you better. And that's a beautiful thing. 